Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day. It's Friday on well thing there's another game that keep released. I'm just gonna keep playing Apollo because yeah. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day. We're playing the Apollo Justice trilogy. And obviously last time we finished up the first TS Turnabite Trump. Not we are on Turnabite Corners. Double checking. I got the absolute right. Turnabite Trump, yeah. So now we're on Turnabite Corners. And let's get it. It's is a kiss. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, we do get to see our rival prosecutor here, so. Turn about corners. As long as we draw breath, the wheel of fit turns. Yeah. Spinning big crimes and little crimes together. And when the wheel stops. I think she's gonna hope you're having a good day. You die. That old timing. Anyway, like I said, hope you're having a good day, Jason. June 15th, 9 12 a.m., Reagan Cool Law Office. Two months have passed since Mr. Gobbin's arrest. My first trial. And I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit, I was screwed. But even when I hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. Oh. Okay, nice. Here I am. So here being the legendary right and cool all of this. Okay, Justice. I'm stop tremoring. Ah, you must be here for the interview. Right this way. Huh? Hello there. You found the right place. Welcome. Um, uh, what's with this girl? Well, now, shall we begin? Begin? What? Right, first things first. Any special talents? Uh, talents? Ah. Don't worry, I, I, I understand. He... I think. Yes, well, you must have at least one. Well, um, I guess... Defending? Defending? I don't need talent, but I'll do. A little jazzing up, of course. You think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh? Go ahead! Show me! Defend! Just give it all you got! Don't hold back, Nine! Oh, yeah, yeah let's come play... A lick. Formerly an instant attorney... First of some number nine. What are you talking about? I can't just defend here! First lesson! A professional can perform anywhere! Thanks. Yeah. We want people to be laughing with us. Not at us. Thanks. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Um, the fan? No. Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The right and cool law office, right? Office is right? Oh! I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning! Perhaps you should go read the sign out front again. I'll start to read. Look, it says right there! 
Oh. Why does it say right talent agency? Welcome to the right talent agency. Where you're always which are where you've always come to the right place. I'm Tracy Wright. Tracy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. It all came flooding back. The trial? The girl? Hello, sir. Please pick a card. That's right. She's my daughter. Trissy Wright. Here, check out her flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo. Apollo Justice. Attorney in Law. Oh, that. Oh, I've seen one of those before. That's an attorney's badge. It looks like the one Daddy used to have. Now, if you take this badge and do this and this, see? It's gone. H hey! My badge! What did you do with my badge? No need to worry. Just look in your pocket. Huh? No way! My back! My pocket? Wait a sec. There's something in there. It's a flyer for your agency! Hey, I'm a hiding. Hope you're having a good day. I'm doing well. How you doing? And here's your badge. You can have it back now. That's the last time I let her touch anything of mine, period. Oh, wow, this is weird. Ah, don't touch Mr. Charlie! Mr. Charlie? He's been in this office much longer than I have. Daddy Spencer had a great fun for Mr. Charlie. He lived here since Daddy was a rookie attorney. Huh? Mr. Charlie. Right. Now I take care of him. Hey, like, I hope you're having a good day. That table doesn't look very sturdy. You've never seen one of those? It's a magic table! So, like, make this teapot disappear? So you might think, but that's not it. Before your fiery eyes, the contents of the pot changes. From Earl Grey to Deirdring. Deirdring. I can get the name wrong. Kind of hard to see the difference, I think. A blue silk hat. Just like the one Trucy is wearing. Oh, that's just for show. Don't worry, please. Last fall from my mind. Honest. I put Darcy clients can see... It know who I am. Nothing says magician like a silk top pot. I'm not even sure if we'll get to see uh, Tracy's one of Tracy's magical tricks. There are all sorts of strange pattern. Are fairly uh, sitting on top of the piano. Those are my magic props. Practice, practice, practice. A professional never leaves their weapon in far from reach. But you can't play the piano with all this junk on it. Oh, no one plays here anyway. And the neighbors complain. I guess Mr. Wright really can't play. I'm one of these hula hoops. But that's one of those hula hoops. Things I remember was crazy about way back then. Really? I had no idea they were... Those were that popular. I'm not about. I'm not so bad with one myself, actually. I, I, I'm still learning. She can really make someone love it. Tip of it, show me. Huh? I have no idea how. It's just normal hula hoop, isn't it? Whoa! That fork is pulling. Huh? Why do you have a plate of plastic plastic spaghetti here? That right there is the whole reason I became a magician. Do tell. I saw a plate like that, but just like that in a restaurant once. The flame fork looks so real, that's when I knew. 
But then, I make mag magic more amazing than that spaghetti. An old satire tinted photo of a man in a silk top hat. That's my favorite magician. I want to be like him someday. You're nice. I guess it's good to have a room model. Even if he's got to be well over a hundred. Hybrid! I think we've examined everything in... Oh. A strange split box leers at me from the wall. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, is this one of those boxes for cutting people in half? That's right! This cabinet is used for the illusion called Six Egg. I've seen one on TV. But why is one just sitting here in your office? Oh, it was a little big for me, you see. So I'm using it as furniture. Hats on the top, shirts in the middle, and pants down below. I think it's a nice touch, don't you? It's not exactly what I call a uh, welcoming decor. Okay, out there. All these legal books must be right, Mr. Wright's leftovers. There's a lot of unrelated books here, too. One trick a day, magic for idiots. I think a pro magician would aim, aim a bit higher. Oh, the, the, the difficult looking legal books no longer mock at us. I don't know, guess I'll talk to her. Okay. So, is this really a town that you can see? You bet! I started seven years ago. When you quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people? Does that include you? Tracy Wright, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows. Pay too! I am a professional, you know. Uh, right. Why don't you come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is... Phoenix Wright. Pianist Extraordinaire. Your dad, in other words. Didn't you say you couldn't play the piano? Aren't you doesn't see that as a problem? I there are many magicians who, ca who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic. I'll give you that. So here is uh, your Phoenix Wright Staller. That's right. After Daddy quit law seven years ago, I promised I would keep him fed. So I'm kind of a sugar daddy. Get it? No. I'm in charge of this whole office, too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you agree? The 15? Um, I was Mr. Red? Daddy, oh, he's 33 this year. Oh, Trisha Wright, future stage magician in training. Apparently, the daughter of Phoenix Wright. I'm sure there's a good explanation. I hope. Um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Eh, you know about that? Not the details. I remember the news ship, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask you about it next time I get a chance. Hey, right. That reminds me, I bet Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. But he's not here right now. He's in the hospital. The hospital? Yeah, he's on strict bed rest until he gets better. What? Okay. Which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right, well, I'll be going I. And I'll, uh, um, give the Shubas gig some fun, okay? 
Wait, I'll go with you. June 15th, 9.45 a.m. Hit field clink. So this is Mr. Wright's office. Oh god, you're back! Eh? Visitors, are you? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Are you the doctor? Uh-huh. Dr. Hitfield's the name. Hehehe. <laughs> Good morning, doctor. Oh, hi there, Tracy. You just have her. Hehehe. <laughs> Is this style shirt? Oh, yeah. Septi's going for a morning checkup. Be back soon. Hi, you, Miss Tracy. Got any place you like examined? He, <laughs> Doctor. The nurse is looking for you. Why? If it isn't the daddy old. Daddy the cutest little thing in town. <laughs> Guess I'll be off, Dad. <laughs> Later, Tracy. Wow. What an old bird that guy was. Good morning. Didn't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. What's that? Looks strangely familiar. How could you not recognize an attorney's badge? It's been seven years. I've forgotten. A lot of things. I guess some seven years are longer than others. There's a little piano here. Ah, daddy! Snuck in some grip juice in again. Doctor, the doctor said you weren't supposed to drink out here. You see, look at the label. Oh, deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. I switch the labels. Don't tell Trucy, okay? What can I say? The man loves his grit juice. This looks like a child's toy piano. Got to practice. Wouldn't want me to get my fingers to get stiff. A pro always keeps this weapon close at hand. Shall I play you a tune? Um, no thanks. Aw, I'm fortunate. I so rarely get a chance to play. A swaying spiral stack of DVD cases. It's Steel Samurai. The Nickel Samurai? The Pink Princess. The Sappy Samurai Electric Bugaroo. They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Huh? Like a niece or nephew? Something like that. Like the collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. Funny. Mr. Red doesn't seem the type that kids would like. Er, Maya. Mr. Wright's bad. It's really messy. Look how messy this is! You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Yikes, she's attempting to clean up. Look out! Ha ha ha, you got me. What can I say? I was raised in a barn. Try not to let work get out, Apollo, if you don't mind. Yeah, it might ruin your just career pretending to play the piano. What's that on the TV? Looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one! That's the Sniffing Samurai! His booger finger... finger attack... Sorry, his booger flick attack is a big hit with a great scroll... Great scroll card! I had no idea you liked this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. Well, what, what is... Sorry, what else is there to do when you're stuck in a in bed? Besides, the episode will just keep... The episodes will just keep piling up if I don't keep up, you know. Um, yeah. Try not buying them. Not the only time I get the watch and write of my reports. Your reports? It's a long story. Like a lot of things, actually. Alright. So, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, victim of a hidden run. A hidden 
You were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I'll give him that. Picture me tossed 30 feet through the air. Only stopped when my head hit that telephone pole. You hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. He really is as lucky as they say. There's something that, well, it doesn't, it just doesn't sit right. Uh, I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Ang. And she's so big. Not that, but uh, you know what I mean. Oh, she's still a child. I, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> Your oh, sweet daddy's little baby girl, Demetrius. <laughs> My foot. I'm not buying it. Oh, something you know about Trusy. She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw, daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You could just tell me things instead of insinuating them. So, why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly, prickly now. Hey! I didn't ask to be dragged into in like this. Huh? But didn't you come to the office because of your own free will anyway? Well, yeah, of course. Help! We're in big trouble here at the office! Help! Mr. Big! I thought someone was dying. So you don't think this is big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy! How are we going to pay this month's rent? And the groceries! Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbiotic relationship, and one must fall, the other two must fall. Hey, this isn't exactly a suitable... Conversation to be having with a 15 year old kid. None of this. If Apollo here can't help you, you'll have to transfer to a new school. Again. No, oh, I can't. I only just made friends. How could you do this to me? To us, Polly? Huh? What? Now it's my fault? On that note, how about you come work for us? I got the perfect plan for you already lined up. A client? You mean I get to do my job? I get to the failing court? Alright. I'll hear what you have to say. You got him, Daddy! Hook, line, and sinker! <laughs> now it's time to reel him in. It's official. I'm scared. Alright. Who's the clan? Ah, uh, yes. Here. Take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to that Indochian pasta joint. I didn't trade. I'm pretty sure I got the name wrong there. I played piano there, of course. That's when it happened. The car sent me flying. Nicked the telephone pole. And zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell the story like it's no like it was no big deal. The car's bailed in this direction. So good luck. Huh? You wanted a clan, didn't you? Well, I'm your clan. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Oh, hold on! I'm a defensory, not a detective. Don't worry. Once you find the guy, I intend to see him. Then you can stick it to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either! I'm sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? 
Oh, Daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know. Even the ones that aren't very funny. Your radical client should be stopping by the office anytime now. The office? You mean the town didn't sing? No harm in going. Yeah, it's not like I have anything else today. One more thing. Do look into my accent too, would you? I marked the scene on, of the tragedy on this map. I was right in front of this park. Should be easy to find. So he's going to make me investigate this after all. Map to the and to the Oh. There's a location of the accident on your map. And the criminal knocked me into that telephone pole. Look. Okay. Do you have 10.05 a.m.? Right town, let me see. Hey, hey, hey! How long you plan to make me with, eh? Ah, good morning! Hey, I'll treat you though. Sounds like your pop. It's out of bed for a rough spot, eh? Almost better than spell, I guess. This is our clan? Hey! So, this is that Paolo fellow, eh? Oh, um, yes! The name's Apollo. Look at him here! Arms all crossed like, ready to fight! Yes, sir. You don't mean not literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me do it, night, Polo. Don't worry about your defense, sir. I'm on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked? It's too late for defense. My castle's been stormed! My keep's been kept! My noodle stand's been stolen! Noodle? You know Mr. Eldo um, from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. I know. Of course I know, know him. You're new in these parts? Not really. Then you're the best noodles in turn. Eldon's noodles. Um, whose noodles? My noodles. Uh, help me out here, Tracy Doll. This is Mr. Guy Eldon. Our clan. Maybe you can tell us what your pro what the problem is, Eldon. Anything for you, Juicy Doll. Yeah, boy, with a flagon. Oh, Phineas used to do that to my pops all the time. Your father? Yep. He whipped that bad boy out and said, put it on my top. You know I'm good for it. How about a noodle joint? So, you run a noodle stand, Mr. Eldon. Guy Eldon's the name. And noodles are my gang. I'm Dr. Heavyeld, a suspicious looking fellow. Though he appears. Who apparently is Mr. Rice's physician. And Guy Eldon. Proprietor of Noodle Stand, Elder Noodle. The secret is the secret is in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Oh, that's not that long, right? Really? My family's been noodle man. My family's been noodle man for generations. Got a lot of expectations on my shoulder. Fifteen father pa fathers passing the noodles to fifteen sons. That's a pretty old noodle. I, the fool that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my pops. I picked on her livelihood, but that didn't turn out so well. Oh, there was no denying it. Salty Brook runs through these fans, boy. So it was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. In the end, I was burned by the twisted noodle of fit. Not the, not the mental image I can... I care to linger on. 
So last year, I started my noodle stand. The 15th generation of Eldon's noodles. Um, so tell me more about Eldon's noodles. You don't know the genius that are my noodles? I make them so salty. Why? They're saltier than salt. Now I really don't want to find out. Now he's a regular at his noodle stand. He frequents my pop stand back to this is her days too. Yep, him and his assistant. I'm sorry. I'll be sure to drop out your stand soon. Would you could, Sonny? Eh? Heck, I wish I could. I can find him for a bowl over by nine. What do you mean? It was stolen! My stand! Gone! Stolen? It was last night. I was doing my own. I was doing my own splumber whistle. It's like an ice cream truck bell, but lighter. He even gets complaints. Hehe, <laughs> now nah, you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like a bl the blues than a, wh a whistle. I close up my stand for the night and parked by the, ho the house. Then this morning, dark and early, it was gone! My key! My castle! Oh. Maybe some b bum carted it off? Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. But without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were there in there too. That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. You know what? Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good. Huh? Wait. What exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. And the day you bring bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Of course, I'll make them so hot and salty. Two bulls kill them. Kills them out, and then I really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I'll do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. You can drop by if you need any info, okay? Get back to the, get it back today if you can, Polly. Polo, I've got noodles to make. Things have certainly taken a turn for the bazaar. Traffic accidents on a noodle stand fest. Um, actually, there is something I wanted to ask you about too, Apollo. Huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, listen to the lady's problems now. Don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More favorite and skull diggory? Well, um... Something stole a pair of my panties. Panties? Yep. It's one of those ones. It's just, trust me, it's this is only the start. From I remember. Um so they were um stolen. Your um my panties, yes. Ah uh, right. Panties. That's a crying shame, that is, Trucy Doll. I was alone in the office last night. And how many panties out the window there to drive? Then a fifth came and took them. My favorite panties. I ran after him. Get those back, I shouted. Wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. Well, I lost them. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. I don't crime sham, yep. Well, at least the scene of the crime is convenient. I marked it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my stand or there was an empty bowl in your future, Apollo. Uh, right. And Joe will help out Trish's all here. Here too, you hear? Things have certainly picked up, haven't they? We have no work yesterday, and now we have three cases. I... I guess? Let's see where we stand. Not in the courtroom, that's where. 
Well, the first item on our list. Phoenix Wright, Daddy's hit and run accident. We have to find the one who hit him. Who's going to pay us for this again? And the second item. Mr. Elder's request. Find a stolen, to find a stolen stand. In which we stand again. A bowl of salty noodles. And the last request is mine. To find my stolen panties. That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. Let's go, Polly! To the streets! Aren't you enthusiastic? How can I not be? Let's crack these cases! You and me! Oh yeah, Tracy's basically our... Legal consultant. Pencil. Basically the Maya. The Maya. Uh, I guess we might as well get started. Let's see, a head and run, a stolen stun, and last but not least, stolen panties. All right. I guess we'll do the accident scene first. Ooh. June fifteenth, accident scene. So this is where Mister Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion! Apollo, there's a nice-looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. I'm a little curious about. The park over there, too. Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? You want something? Whoa! That husky voice. Why am I suddenly sweating? That's quite a house you've got there. You must have a lot of money. Oof, money sounds like something my son would love, would call his friend. This is Kateka Family Mansion, girl. This is the Kateka Family Mansion, little girl. Eh? You, keep with the her. You want something? Uh, me? No, not a thing. Bye. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But the, 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 the Kateka Family. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. You're going to ask something, ask it. If you're man enough. Ah! Right! Yay! Way to whip him in the ship, ma'am! She know no fear! I'm Plume. Plume Kataka. The wife of the fourth head of the Kataka family business. Friends call me Little Plume. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Little Apollo Justice. Attorney of Ball. If this cook's kill. This woman will be a mass murderer right now! There's paint splashed all over the skit! What a mess. Was this paint knocked over by the, the car that hit my daddy? That's right. And I left to clean up the mess. And if you find whoever did this, bring the scoundrel by, would you? Of course! Then you can make them clean up their own mess. Ha ha ha! You're cute. Naive, but cute. When I find whoever did this, I feel bad I'll be doing some cleaning. There's nothing I dislike so much as a mess. It's on. Just you can see a little bit more. Oh, I wish I could say cool things like that. I bet you do. Ha ha ha. I'd laugh if my teeth weren't chattering so hard. Wow, what a big house! And the gate is so big! The Kataka family is pretty big around these parts. I like the fox. It's so cute. Ah, that. That's our family's crest. From the old country. Your family crest? We're clever as a fox and our teeth are sharp. So it's like a motto. You need a crest, too, Apollo. Ooh, how about the skills of justice? Or a lunar launder? I'll pass, thanks. A brightly painted dragon. A brightly painted dragon. Why do I get the feeling he's glaring at me? The pin must have been... 
Her these pins must have been to repaint the wall. These, this wall. That's right. I call in an artist to do the job right. He's the first so far. The third? The first split spill pint all over the entrance here. I'm the second on my kimono. So I... No, no, don't tell me. It's better. I don't know. I don't... Oh, we can't do it again. Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know. There's something about her. Too bad she seems to be a bit in a, of a rush. All right. Little Plume. Plum. That's a really cute name for someone, so... Yes? Whoa! What is it, Apollo? How about you go through... ...me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Huh? That seems like a bit... ...of a needless pr procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for needless procedures. Oh, little girl. You should know. We're gangsters. Gang? Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trissy! Furby! Please! I'm begging you here! <laughs> the bad guys? I like the sign of that. I'm going to need some warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect the family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So you're saying that business is in a slum? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. So there was supposedly a car accident here last night. Last night? Uh, of course you wouldn't know about it. Sorry about it. Wait. Yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. That's my Danny! Ha ha ha! I should have known. One of our Capos thought he make a great point man. Capo? Point man? Um, do we do for using too much, um, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up. From this mess since this morning. Bah. Clean up this paint. Let me that. Sorry, kid. I got no idea what you're talking about. Was this paint spelled at the time of the incident? Uh, accident, sir? It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. I found your father draining the sea paint. So you came to his rescue. You've my husband, the boss, to thank for that. The car that hit your father knocked over this pin. Then turned the corner and sped away. We're in the middle of repainting our wall, you see. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. But why are you out here cleaning it up? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to do your dirty work for you? Please! Go for me when you want to! <laughs> Don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangers do have a certain image. Um, yes. But we're community oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, see? I know of him. I feel myself of the public facility. Need to get rid of all the car reach. Now there's just a paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash con.
looks like there's some trouble go by the park yet. I smell an incident! Mom! That's- there's no entry to the park! Now don't you go tell me where I can't go, young fella. I always walked through this park on my way home. Please, get there from there! You hurt yourself, Mom! That's quite the deterrent old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You know what I think? I think they're filming a movie! Let's go take a look! Maybe we'll see someone famous! Hey, miss! Stay the park! He got mad at me. Um, is something happen here, officer? Oh, no, move along. Nothing to say. Why don't you kids go play someplace else? We're not kids and we're not playing. I'm in the turning. Something wrong? Ah, detect the sky! We're fine, Mom. Nothing to report. Detective? Why is she wearing a lab coat? You're hardly one to, com to comment on how people are dressed. Ah, these kids are. You're us, the seekers, mom. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, why don't you kids run along and play somewhere, uh, someplace else? Look, look, we're not. Or might smell something on that pretty little face of yours. One of those of experimental high. I am not even saying that. That's a long word. Hydro accent, blah, 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 F it. Come again? What's hydro... Foxy stuff? Whatever it is, it doesn't sound good. Let's go, Trissy. Try to keep the, like, the riffraffs, if you will. Yes, Mom! Urgh. How are we going to get more information like this? Why don't we ask the nice woman across the street? Oh yes, the nice one. I gotta say, I really like to know what's happening here. Hey, I said no one goes in! Unless you want a fist full of No! Mm, no dice. There's a big trash can on the way to the park into the park. I guess we'll check it out. A detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney at your- Huh? Hmm? Two pieces of garbage with paint on them? Those are slippers. They look like those slippers you get at the hostel. Is this a pole? Doesn't this one go on car- It's a side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Yeah, don't you think? I do. This could be f from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off his mirror. And he never knew Daddy was so strong. I need to have room in my pocket for one of those, these, though. Which one do you want to take? Sniff from that. Slippers trap in the pot. Uh, can I ask you a question? What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, that's the boss would say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire! Someone was killed! Drain circumstances too! You're kidding! Well, morning. Trouble everywhere! The park, the gate, even our house. Does something hit? Does something happen in your house too? I cry with honor, without remorse. It's a private matter. Why hear about it? Somehow, I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. So, what happened at your house? Bloomers, last night. Eh? I got a bad feeling about this. Me, little pl 
Pong Kitika, the victim of a panty snatcher. What? So it wasn't just my panty snatcher stolen. Got you too, didn't they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It was you, wasn't it? No, of course not. Mercy! I've heard of my panties have been disappearing lately. I'm the missing panties, you all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy Miss Kalahani's panties having much in common. I'll just imagine. I just imagine Mr. Kalahani's panties. Ugh. I know! We'll find your bloomers too! Great! Show me what you're made of. What have you got me into this time, Trucy? I've heard from before. Oh, welcome home, sweetie. Ah, uh, um, hello, mother. She's got a cat too? Uh, um, miss, miss! Here, our flyer! The right anything agency? Anything agency? Yeah, do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office, we'll be waiting. Ah, goodbye. Why'd you give her a flyer? I don't know. She seems like she could use some help. She's a heiress to a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need her help. I wouldn't be so sure. Alright. I check this done. Change the thing, scene of the stun thief. So this is the place. This would be Mr. Allen's face, silly. Oh, so this is where his stun was stolen from. I can see a piece of Evans lying on the ground already. Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with the sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? There's a sign. Marquette's Clinic. I think I got the name wrong. Oh, and that's where the thief went. The thief? The one who snatched my panties. He ran into this clinic last night. Whip. Maybe that police car is here to find my panties. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Ah, there you, you are, Sonny. Well, find anything yet? Uh, uh, no, not yet. The longer you live right here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Remember that. Just remember that. The bull this bull in the old is sending less like payment and more like punishment. The only boy my interest is, is where my son, my precious and precious Yes, the lols. Get cracking on that kiss! By my son, I'm begging ya. Oh. So, your son, Alden's noodles, was it? Aye, pass time from father to son. Alright, that stand seems... That, that stand seems... Seen its share of salt. Mm -hmm. Alright, salt runs in the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. So, your stand, Elden's noodles, was stolen? Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, Sunny Boy. I lost those wobbly wheel 
Well, it's my salt crushing stew pots. My strange sign. I didn't just lose the sign. I lost the legend. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? Aren't there... Are there any more details you can give me about your son? You bet, sonny boy. It happened last night. I explored my whistle like always. Crying the town I was. The smell broth filled the streets. Thick, thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. Guess it's not even for that late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squ- Oh, grease! Then I went inside. When did you notice it, it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose. Work starts early. Do that many people eat noodles for breakfast? I washed up- on the salty shores of Ruination. That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. They took everything? Oh, my soup stock. My noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. At least they left one bowl. Look, I'm there on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets, telling that bowl, my last bowl. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. That's it! That's where the thief snatched my, who snatched my Tapanti's run off to! It's a crying shame, that is. If they have to steal, make it my loincloth. Not some petty girls' panties. Pretty girls' panties. The garage, right? You don't ha think the thief lives here, do you? Heh. Heh, I wouldn't put... I passed that goof for nothing, Doctor. Hmm, do I detect a little amnesty here? Now let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. This house is, well, it's old. It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. It's got character, though. Just like my soup. I always thought characters was a positive thing. That's the place, right there! That's where I kept my stand. Cover all nice and perfectly with that blue tarp there. So you use this plastic sheet to cover your stand at night. I see. See what? Did you figure out why it was stolen? Well, no. But it does suggest that they knew what he or she was looking for. They clearly knew what was under that sheet. It wasn't one of those casual drive-by stand snatchers, you mean? Not bad, sonny boy. Not bad at all. It looks like the old drum's connected to that sink over there. Collecting rainwater to do the dishes? High environmentally conscience. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and to make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Tis a suspicious, you know. Look, the sign over there! That sign over there. Alden only uses water from all natural sources. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. There's this handwriting sign here. Save the light. Save the light indeed! Mr. Alden's house is practically in the dark here. I guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built that monstrosity. Or else needs sun or rots. What a man does, what's a man doing? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. Is this yours, Mr. Eldon? Hey, that there's the heart and soul of Eldon's noodles. If I'll source my salty soup, pretty soon it's gonna taste like... They're just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. 
Oh, my other bulls got taken away by stun. Get it back for me, Sunny boy! I'm begging you. Well, that's the core records. Custom made Elden Noodles moves. The core with Elden Noodles mascot. Look, a doggy! Good boy, good boy. Salty. I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trissy. Yep, sure does. Name Spoon. And it's a she, by the way. Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Poor little things. Apollo, let's find that stun soon! For Spoon's sake! I'm pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles. That's quite a sign, I... I take that snoo as opposed to old. Oh, you like it? Me to myself, I did. I meant the right noodles, but rather nice space. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Lucky for me, it spells the word. It spells the word all by itself. And it spruces up my image. It does. It does have a certain power of will or denial thing going for it. That door is sure is sparkly. It's American's clinic, huh? Looks more like a casino partner than a hotel uh, hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks close. Maybe they're on vacation today. I understand that there was an ambulance aside, but a police car? Maybe they're taxing their if haters. Ah, uh, sorry, miss. Not going into the clinic today. I'm not going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, no, no. Nothing to say here. Move along. You have to find someplace else to play doctor. Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? We need a little more info on this Meekin's clinic. We could ask Mr. Eldon. He's their neighbor and all. I mean, you should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my pallet is still in there? Huh. <sighs> Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. Heh, <laughs> probably gave someone food poisoning, I bet. And it was a risk of giving someone food poisoning. That police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. The neighbor. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much. The doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time for he got what's what's coming to for him. Eh. The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. Let's go. June 15th, Americans Clinic Garage. This is the place! This is where the pony snatcher ran! Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues? Is a panty snatcher? Clues? Like a pair of panties. Um, Trucy? Could you stop trying- Could you try not saying panties so many times? Look! It's a folding ladder! Holly, that's called a step ladder. Come on! A step ladder? Why is that different from a regular ladder then? It's much more it's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. Do you admit that that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form at the essence of the thing. Uh can we talk about something else? Hey, it's kitty cat! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. It's not coming down. We do look kind of suspicious. You have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat. This her won't hurt you. It's okay, kitty cat. She will make you disappear in her hand. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look.
There's two things here. Look! A cell phone! Someone dropped it beneath the ti this tire. If the car moves, it would be crushed for sure. Hmm. I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Cell phone, not to the core record. Don't know, we can see a garage behind the car. Who could have dropped it? Hey, look at that! The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. Not that I can think of. No? Then what? You smell like... Oh, I wasn't smiling. It was just the... Just so... That doesn't hear. I thought I was going to sneeze. Ah, ah, ah. What you? Well, don't make a... That... Wait a second. Ah, you... Are so misleading, then. I know yawns are contagious, but sneezes? Well, I'm sure there's got to be a clue somewhere. Let's keep checking things out. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Apparently, there was something... Sorry, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into its tailpipe. The piece of cloth turned out to be a final clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record when I, remember I was checking when I remember checking out a car, and I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wouldn't it be funny if? Hey, there's something in here. What? Wait a second. Are these your? Ah! My pony. What? Already? Wow, thank you, Paulo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really. Don't mention it. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. You must have a nose for fanging your girls' panties. Um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They've come home to Mama. I can wait to use them. You're going to put them on? Nine? Watch closely, Nine. See? Nothing in the panties. Ta-da! Whoa! Where did that come from? How did that bowl get in your ponies? My ponies are extra-dimensional space! Anything can fit in there. They're my magic panties! It's one of my best tricks! Magic panties? They look them over the Wonder Bar. At the Wonder Bar. I do shoes, sir, nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner! Just finally put discreetly away in Tracy's pocket. Well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off of, of the tool of my trade. Oh, right. Let me tell us we're not finished searching this garage. Anyway. I know what we need today. There's a few mirror, there's some paint, and trash can. I can only carry one. That's about the evidence. Proceed if you would. I want it! Mirror slipped in the pot. Look at this cute little watch trap! I want one! It's kind of old though. What's this? What is? I mean, if you want to know the time, you could just ch look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right! Sharp, Apollo! Uh, thanks? I need some respect. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think for the, the details, for one. They, they did drop their phone, after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. We're doing this. 
Something the matter? Um, I was just wondering if there was like a switch on these. Of course not. Huh? Mysterious. Oh. Do you want to know the secret? Ah, no, no thanks. Who uses magic pantheons in a statue anyway? And we're done. It's cut clean off. I wonder what's in there. Don't. There are barbed bar bear wires hanging out. See, so yee. Wow, are you okay? Hee <laughs> hee, just a little joke. Don't scare me like that. You mean don't shock you? Stop. Hee. <laughs> Alright. Oops. Can you tell me anything about this mirror? That's probably from the car that knocked off that fellow across the street. Right. That makes this a valuable clue. Let me know if you find the car that car, would you? You splash Kataka paint, you pay the price. What? You want to see them again? Well, if you must. No, no, no. I'm fine, really. Let's just put them away, shall we? Then what are you talking? What are you talking about? The kiss isn't close until we have our thief. Just find him on the side while you work on the inner cases. If that were is, if if it were that easy, we wouldn't need the police. We don't need the police. Right, if we don't need the police, then we don't need the fence either, attorney either, right? I'm fine. I'll look for your pony snatchers. Well, do we have any leads? Hmm. One moment. Akasam! Akasam! Whoa! Where'd all this evidence come from? Um, so what happens next? That's it! Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, neat. Uh. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Huh? Mr. Wright's gone! Maybe he's gone for an examination? He'll probably be back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. I always lose the examinations. Don't ask, Justice. You don't want to know. What if we come back later? Yeah, I think I guess you're right. Oh, a bottle of Mr. Wright's favorite brown of grape juice. After that trial, I'll never drink grape juice again. Clearly, not a problem for Mr. Wright, however. A small children's piano. I guess the man likes pink. A swaying spiral stack of DVD cases. Looks, it looks right at the class. Break at my distance. Mr. Wright's bed. Oh, what a mess. Tracy must be in charge of cleaning the home. Television's been left on to an episode of the Steel Samurai. It looks like the same episode as before. Must be his favorite. Alright. Eek! Summon the star! Oh, it's just a gold painted human skeleton. Just a human skeleton? I paid the gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure.
Dan zo vind je het bij Ah. We got this. I think I do have a clue you got in mind. Take that! Take that! My clue is this! Whoa! It's the same color and size and everything! A perfect match! I guess we, sh we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side-view mirror. Looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Well, looks like we just solved the case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us. Yep. Wow. You put the pro in professional, Apollo. He's thanks, Trucy. Apollo. Huh? What is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mobile leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay. He does seem the type to move, though. And this is hardly a case for reporting. Alright. Oh, I know. You want to see a magic trick? Well, you come to the right girl. Watch as I make this evidence disappear. Forever! No, no, no! Sorry, my bad. I'm so glad we found our panties. I have no idea they were so important to you. And time for tonight's show, too. A lot of people just come just to see my panties, you know. You might not want to advertise it like that. June 15th, Hetfield Clinic. Yo, how's it going? Howdy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trissy, not bad. It's good to have your, your youngins on the case. Let old daddy get some well-deserved r, r The elderly need the rest. Um, isn't he only 33? Um, we cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent, capable. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. It's actually a relief to be so thoroughly ignored. So this was the thing that led you to the car. Yes, sir. The mirror you knocked off was just a clue we needed. Good work, Apollo. Of course, you might say. I was one who made something like this possible. You don't, you don't get points for knocking off a car mirror. Look, my ponies! They've come home to mama. Thanks, Apollo. I was worried about them, too. Trucy special or... Special order of these. Those. A starting display of parental concern. I have... I hate to have a, the bad new purr. Ooh. Make... Not a not so startling display of cheese skit... In this. Well, I certainly didn't expect you back this early. Oh, he's amazing! He found my party so quick! It's almost like he was the one who stole them. You have an interesting concept of praise. And? Did you find the mad driver who gave me that 30 foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor. From the Ameri Americans clinic. Hmm, Americans, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me. A police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? What is that? Eric Hetz Clinic, anyway. All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money. In a bad way. Bad? 
ties to organized crime, the Kentucky family. Um, Kataka family? He did it on purpose? Some injuries you can't take to the to public hospital, see? They use American's clinic to for their patch up jobs. Interesting. It looks like something had happened in the in that park. Ah, a body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern, in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find the no a noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head to the mirror. Yes, please. Maybe hit, hit him over some reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering when I get paid. We solved the case of your incident and um, found the myth missing article of clothing. My ponies! That leads to no stun. Eh? Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'll be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quit corporal. Hello, pro bono. Uh. Right, back to the office for the plan. Next move. Oh. Oh, it's after this. Do you think Frank anything is G? You're the woman from the Katakan place. Yes. I knew it. Something the matter with... And you want our help, right? Well, you come to the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tella. I have a request. An attorney's badge? So you really are a defense attorney. Please, I'm kind of you. I need your help. I'm sure I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's me who's sorry. Really. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Requests. Let me guess. Something's been stolen. Um, your flyer. It says not defending, so I thought What? You mean you mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Where did you hit the car? Where were you hit by a car? Did someone see your stand or your panties? No, no. It's not the I'm not the clan, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiance, I suppose you call him. Oh, fiance? What happened to him then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Sorry. Have you heard about what happened at the park? So, what's your story? You you frequent the Katakana Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a... a um, gangster? Yes, but the Karakas are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it would be nice for a change. My boring job, live a good gangster life. I think you're onto something. Miss Kar Karaka, I like the sign of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Well, I guess because of the way this part of the episode is going, we'll just leave it at this episode. This part of the episode. What happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park. 
near the Kalika Mansion. There was a lot. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. When I heard the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiance was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person is your fiance? Your fiance is the Kataka family's only son, correct? His name is Waki. Waki Kataka. I brought a photo. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, he could be powerful and menacing, but so sure. But so cute, sir. But if he's the boss's only son, yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first salute to Penskius. I am boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know, I know you need those. The request out of the court records. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. Hi, Charlie. We'll see you soon. June 15th, Tech File Clinic. Huh? Where's Mr. Red? Maybe he's getting an examination again? How many does he need? Wasn't it just a sprint? Be bad, Polly. You wanted to show off your request to Daddy, didn't you? What? Me? No! Oh, that's a surprise. Let's just come back later, shall we? Let's just head to the detention center. Let's see our clan. June 15th, detention center. Holly, you look as happy as a clown in a, sh in a shell. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. <clears throat> you need something? Ah, yes, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Waki Katakali. Katika? Sorry, he's in questioning right now. Could take a while. Drat! Oh well, I guess, guess we'll have to come back later. So much for that battle. A bike! Jim Pitting, Katakam Asin. So this is it. My first murder crime scene. Ah! It's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hip request on it? This tower must have used the... Kind of kind of stationary. Excuse me, coming for a... Ah, it's you! Mr. Calvin! Who's this guy? I must say, I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. Mr. Gavin? Ah, fr- Ole, what, ha what is a sweet morsel like you, you doing in such a dismi dismal place? Can I help? I'm gonna probably get you- I'm gonna probably put you some little- some warning here. Yes? The policeman- Mm, officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be a soft standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <laughs> Very well. This way, front. Well, there. Whee! Hey! What about me? June 15th, People Park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you! Will we see you again? Ask the wind from there. I'll be riding on it. Who was that? Yay! Apollo, look! A oh, corpse! What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. 
Oh, sure got me. Ahem, <clears throat> might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, that guy! Well, he was more like a prince, really. He loves in. Him again. A glimmering flop. Always getting in my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me? We have a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientifically, analysis say that this was written by Alita Tella. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure it out? So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulled from the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Femmes guy. I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't look that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Um, if you could spare a moment to take a look at this. I just see that I'm extremely, extremely busy. Eating snacks? Yes. Busy eating snacks, I say. This is going nowhere fast. Alright. We'll try it. Okay, nope. Um, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. Much, 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 much. I'm not even repeating this. We're not making much progress here. She's much. She must not be fired, but must not be fired, busy. Uh, I never seem to get a lucky brick. Back after nine years, and they won't give me that position I requested. And then I hear he gave up his attorney. His defense. Sorry. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney in life. He? You see? An ex defense attorney? And detect this guy? Quiet, please. It's not. Oh. We should come back. Because we are not getting anywhere. Hey there! No messing with the crime scene! But we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by the professionals. Scientifically. He's not gonna let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo! My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. Better check out what we can find the least. No messing with the crime scene. But we need to investigate. Apollo! Look! That's done! It says Eldon. I noticed. No, we solved the case of the missing stand, at least. No, the circumstances could stand to be better. Oh, yeah, we can't do anything until, uh... I did a foot. Uh, nothing. Prop, I was meant to go. Oh, never mind. June 15th, Elden Noodle. Elden Size. Oh, Mr. Elden! Hello! Looks like he's left. And we found a stand and everything. What about our free bull? 
Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that ball. So sorry. Aw, oh, what a bummer. It's the first one, never mind. June 15th, Hickville Clinic. Ah, you're back. Run some problems? Oh, Polly! Didn't you want, want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine. Really? What's this? Is there a problem? No, nope, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me! Oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose. I know it. Ah, oh, never mind. So, about this defense request. It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime! Did you know? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Um, I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean you don't know what the murder weapon was? That's funny. That funny detective, they won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a kiss. This was about 10 years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy! He knows all the police types. Oh wait! Maybe you know this other guy too. The other guy? That other guy? The Shining Prince on the motorcycle! The Shining Prince? Prince? Apollo, tell me about this Prince of Trucies. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Galvin. Did he not? You know him? My guess is, is he's Christoph Galvin's younger brother. His brother? We're acquaintances. After a fashion. Five year Galvin. Rock and roll god incarnate. Fiverr? What a lovely name. So dreamy. I don't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. What is he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was that problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk hat you'll find a bottle of white powder. Try to talk. Try taking not to this detective. I powder. I hope it's not what I think it is. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. No, I don't. I don't think. So this must be the silk top hat, Mr. I mentioned. Alright. Let's take a closer look. Hmm? Whoa! You know what this is, Tracy? I remember finding some in Daddy's treasure when I was little. I fought with Sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. Oh, that's right. This has... Okay. This is getting more and more suspicious. My powder placed cleanly in the pocket. The stairs my powder with the ability to improve detect this guy's mood. Let's go talk to that detective. She sure knew what this white powder is.
There's a big waste basket. I can't... I'm going to search through the trash. I don't think we need to. Oh no, please, knock yourself out. Don't mind me. I'll be waiting, waiting over there. Just so we're clear, searching for trash isn't a hobby of mine, okay? Oh, okay. Does this ring any bells? Ah, oh, is that? It couldn't. Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright and Cool office, yes? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? Daddy? I'm sorry. Who did you say you were? Trissy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a, da has a daughter? He seems shocked. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, um, thanks. You can stop right now calling Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints. I guess you might call it a me memento. From the time I spent with Mr. Wright. Why powder memories? If you find any evidence with fingerprints on them, please let me know. Well, dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Ah, an attorney's badge. It reminds me of when Mr. Wright was still defending. Everything I have now is thanks to him. Remember, help as many people as you can. That's your job. She's right, Polly. Let's make a difference. Is something wrong? Ah, uh... No, nothing. I... I actually felt inspired for a moment there. Sorry, I don't think I can help you without... I think you need more than just scientific help. Ask me anything you like. Just ask scientifically. Alright. Fingerprint analysis is the fiery basis of modern forensic science. Doesn't just talking about it leave you breathless with excitement? Oh yes, breathless. Actually, it does sound kind of interesting. Let me know if you find any evidence that might have a print or two, alright? Alright. The report came in late last night. The body was found as much as she's... much as you've seen it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was the body pulling a noodle stone? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop. Or a gangster. Incidentally, the victim's name was Paul Hurricanes. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Autopsy report has been added. Time of death, June 14th, after 10 p.m. Cause death, single bullet to the right temple. I mean, really? What's up with this kiss? It's enough to make me want to run off, pull a mysterious noodle stop behind, pulling a mysterious noodle stop behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stun came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where Nudosan came from. The Nudosan owner is... That's right. Who's that old guy? This is the proprietor of Elden's noodles, Mr. Elden himself. He's famous for this in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Nudosan's not the court record, Mr. Eldon's Nudosan. Victim died pulling it. Before I proceed, you actually never get the examiners. The label reads fingerprints powder in some strange language. How do we know for sure? What if this is really a jar for something else? Like jam or honey? Why would anyone go through the trouble? Well, so the police don't find out, that's why. I hardly think possessing fingerprint perder is a crime. Oh, huh. I guess that's boring.
No me. Oh. Huh? Look at this, Apollo. Mr. Elden spelled his name backwards on the side. Hmm? I think it says noodle. As in Elden's noodles. Huh? Oh, I get it. So the name of his store is the same name when you read it forwards or backwards. Yeah, I guess it would be. Well, except for the last S. And how about a store called Team Me? Um, close, but that would be Team Me. Backwards. Uh, what kind of store is that? Why, a store that sells meat. It's not meat, unless it's Team Meat. Alright. Hey, what sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. Doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. To me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky, hmm? I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, were you studying the Brillon? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic science, man. You, you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminals of fur, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay the people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in a incident before I left. And Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owe them. Really? I had no idea. She's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current, um... Instead of a first. Um, could you tell me a bit about the defendant? Is he he's the only son of the Kataka plumbing, yes? Baki Kataka? I don't know if he is the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Finally, into the detention center. I see. Why is he why was he arrested in the first place? You're a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not a s his by any chance. Um, actually, yes, I am. Um, well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's a physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too. From the signs of it. The clinic's name is... The American's Clinic. Hmm. Maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah. Oh, on a related issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen Dunostan. I see. So that means... Dr. American stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That would seem to be the case. Why? Don't ask me. <laughs> and this is Mr. Elden's noodle stand, obviously. It does say Elden in a big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern that looks familiar. It's gonna be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right! Congratulations, Apollo! And leaves us with one kiss that's worse than all three put together. Murder. That mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in place of a body. The body of the victim has been already removed. It's already been removed. Do you think the victim was the Nunosan thief? What? You think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah. Taking care of business. A little plume katakami style. Kataka style. Trying not to sound too eager about that, please. There's gotta be a good clue or two around here. 
You and your trash cans. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can you... Can you see I'm doing my... Huh? I... Uh, look, another pair of... Underwear. Wow, Apollo. You're a cheese of high panties. Stop saying not, please. He, wait. These are... They're not mine. These have been stolen too. Numerous out of the correct words. Found in trash can, distinct numerous say at least. Bench lines, benches lining the river running through the park. Ah, uh, hello, urban oasis. I bet children come here to splash around in the water. That river's a little deep for splashing. And a little dirty. Yeah. They could listen to the water and pretend they were playing. A knife! It's a knife! A shift, to be precise. Oh, Lingo! The defendant of Waki Kadake is the son of a well of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Whip, but isn't the murder weapon a pistol? Hmm? Look at this! There's a handprint on the, sh the shift. A handprint? And there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate! Right, first, choose the fingerprint you want the assignment. Choose the fingerprint. Look closely at the handle. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. It looks black spots. That's right. Pick one you want to analyze. Right, let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically gloomy with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum there over the print. With the press backs like this, see? They all laugh at a print that absorbs the aluminum part and there's you so you just dust it on. And blow it off. Blow? It's like whistling, you know? Hide a whistle, don't you? Is she trying on? Wow, amazing! Just like magic! It's like magic! <laughs> Isn't it though? Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with powder. Hmm, good! Clear! Quite impressive. Next, to match the print. The police officer has samples so you can tell whose finger her these prints belong to. Hmm, that doesn't sound like much fun as actual finger the print. You pick the person whose prints you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose neck this is already. Let's try it. That's a match. So this, the fingerprint, and still belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't this amazing? Ah, uh, the power of science, it's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. Look sharp, spears up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. Knife out to the court records. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, um, no. Fisting the are almost over at the detention center. We might think about wrapping up up here and heading over there. Good idea. I don't know what good old day will do. We have a witness and a knife of prints. I, me I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, it's like a right tradition. Some tradition I can live without. I don't you just die. Well, we got one thing left to do now. Oh. Hmm, I think we should focus on finding more information about the case. You seem to be having fun. Of course! This is my first criminal investigation! And it's so mysterious! 
Nero san pushing a dead man along. Um, I think it was the other way around. The dead man was pulling the stand. Dread about it being mysterious. I know it! More information, that's what we need! June 15th Detention Center. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. But we still have three minutes! I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's t talking in the private room with him. Father? You mean like a priest? Okay, I mean the suspect's father. Mr. Renfan Big Wings Kataka. Big Wings Kataka himself. Die, you! You're the one on your way at old. Uh. They're here. Whoa! This guy really has power. Power. A cute apron. You're a walkie's lawyer. Yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kadaka. The fourth head of the Kadaka family. Capish? Uh, actually, I can't even speak to your son, Mr. Justice. Yes. My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Yes, I'm all about capishing. Capiche, loud and clear. You do more than just understand. Mm, to make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? You can't treat me like a kid no more. Not now. You know why? I... I wanna go... I want to go to the clink. I like it here. You must be walkie. A G, not a G, till he does his hard time, but... So I, You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence! My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I'm having a hard time believing on. Ha, <laughs> you can't take me under your wing this time, old man. You are me! I don't need no trial! I did it! I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. So much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today! We even found our panties! I have fun at least. Of course, the biggest mission of all remains. Why did I suppose? Am I supposed to build a kiss for this trial? Oh, oh, I almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. And that's literally how we end the first episode. And yeah, we'll just end it here. I did. I forgot how long this was going to be. This is just a section on its own. All right. But I'll be it. I'll see you all next time. Hope you saw it with it. It's weekend, nice weekend. I'll see you all next time. Back on this Monday, bye-bye. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.